Here with little Hunter. Little Hunter has lost his socks. My grandbabies were here, and uh, the little one ran off with Hunter's socks. So I'm gonna have to go look for them. I have my little girl over here. I think we named her Fiona. I don't remember. I think it was Fiona. Uh, but yeah, she's looking super cute in her little dress. Of course, Hunter, he, he needs to get changed. I'm gonna do that in another video a little bit later on. But I did print out several things that I like to do when my grandkids show up and things that I've done with my kids as they were growing up. I know a lot of children are home right now and you know, they get bored watching TV and playing on their tablets and stuff and you know, games and I think uh, interaction with your children is a great ideal. Uh, when my kids were growing up, we didn't have access to uh, the internet and you know games and such. I mean, they had a game console, but uh, mostly my oldest one is the only one that played on that. So we had to be creative parents and uh, create things for our children to do. So I have about three, yeah, about three pages. I won't keep you long. Uh, but I have a few things that I wrote down that are a whole lot of fun to do with your children while they're home and I thought maybe if you're home with your kids you may want to try some of these things or if you're a grandparent that uh, your grandkids come to visit it's fun to uh, have little activities ready for when they arrive. I am going to be sharing a few simple recipes below in the description. Be sure to check out those recipes. It goes along with everything that I'm going to talk about on my activity list here. So let's just get started. The first thing that children always like to do is make tents out of uh, sheets. Sheets are lightweight, they're easy to drape over furniture, you even drape them over your dining room table and they could make a fort of some kind. Uh, I know my grandson right now, that is his favorite thing to do is making tents out of sheets and blankets and things like that and he'll actually sleep under there at night too it's really funny you could take turns reading to each other you could make milkshakes or smoothies kids always love anything to do in the kitchen conduct kitchen science experiments and those are pretty easy if you have baking soda and vinegar you can make um, exploding volcanoes you can have food coloring with it make it different colors quite a few kitchen experiments that you can try uh, that are safe with kids. You can paint your nails together and I have done this with my grandsons. I have pictures of my grandson uh, pretty small with all of his little nails painted and he would paint mine of course and make a mess. Have a spa night with oatmeal and honey facials. Look through old photo albums together. My grandkids absolutely love looking at uh, pictures of their mom when she was a child. Probably one of their favorite things to do. Watch your child's favorite TV show or movie together. Play video games together. You can exercise together, dance together, do a puzzle, play board games, rearrange their bedroom furniture, pull out old boxes of toys that they haven't played with for a while, I was one of those parents that rotate the toys. It's not that I don't like all their toys out, but you know, kids, they kind of get bored playing with the same toys. So we would pack half their toys away and we would rotate their toys. And you know, after a while they forget about those toys. So it's always like Christmas when you bring out those old boxes of toys. Build Legos together. Play with dolls together, of course. The grandkids love to play with Hunter and the other babies and of course they're always supervised but they do love interacting with the baby dolls play store restaurant or ice cream stand together the restaurant is one of the grandkids favorite things right now I'll take out all the plastic dishes and we would you know you just use anything for a telephone call in orders and do you know carry out and take out orders and they really enjoy doing that you can sit outside and look at the stars Kids love to be outside at night. Eat any meal together. 
you can make this as fancy or as simple as possible. Uh, you could plan a very nice meal together where you do complete placemat settings or you could just simply do a sack lunch with your child. Teach your child how to cook. All my children know how to cook very well. Teach your child how to play solitaire checkers. My grandson loves checkers right now. Style your child's hair or let your child style your hair. Uh, kids enjoy doing that. Share a memory of your childhood. I think memories, sharing your memories with your, your kids or your grandkids are very important. I know there's things to this day that I wish I would have asked my mother uh, that I cannot ask her now. So I think sharing memories from your childhood is extremely important with your children. You can plant an indoor garden. Plant seeds from something you've eaten, such as apples or watermelons, and avocado seeds actually make a plant. I know, you know, that's always fun to do with your kids. I know my kids always enjoy doing that. You could draw on the sidewalk with sidewalk chalk, run through the sprinklers together, bake brownies or cupcakes, have a tea party, play school or office. Kids love to pretend play, make believe play. When you play school or office, let them teach you the lesson. That can be quite fun. You can swing on the swings together if you have a swing set, or if you don't, you could maybe build a, a tire swing in your backyard. Jump on the trampoline together. Grandkids all they love doing this, and we play Duck Duck Goose all the time on their trampoline. They have a lot of fun doing that. You can make your own treasure map. You can hide. Um, items inside your home as well as outside your home. Uh, it depends if you have a big backyard or maybe you don't have a yard. You can always hide things in your home and then draw out a treasure map and let the kids find those items. You can play 20 questions. That's another one I like to play with my grandkids. They absolutely love 20 questions. You can play I Spy and if you don't know I Spy you just look at an item you say I Spy um, we say chickens buy something red and of course the kids have to go look for it and they have to put their hand on it and you can give them clues as if they're hot or cold like if they're far away from the item then I would say oh you're very cold you're freezing if they're closer to it I would say oh man you're burning up they really enjoy that game that's a lot of fun you can listen to audiobooks together you can make pancakes in the shape of your child's initials you can also use food color uh, to color the pancakes. If you save your squeeze bottles like from your mustard and things like that you can always fill those bottles up with a uh, colored pancake mix and you could decorate pancakes as well. If your child a song you sing as a kid you'd be surprised how many children's songs that we know that your kids don't know so that's that's a lot of fun as well. Read your favorite childhood book together. My favorite book growing up was Charlotte's Web, and I have read that to uh, my kids and grandkids, as well as Moby Dick. I have that book still on my shelf. Um, I think it took me all summer to read that to my grandkids last, and, and they loved it. It's a very thick book, and it's a lot of fun to read. You can make a family tree. Make your own memory game out of family photographs. You can scrapbook together. Help your child send an email to their grandparent, their aunt, or their uncle, or their parents if they're away from their parents. Make a care package to send to a relative who lives far away. I'm always making care packages and sending them to relatives, and the kids enjoy helping me with those. You can write a story together. You can also have a picnic either on your living room floor or outside in your backyard. Uh, you could build animal families out of homemade play-doh or just build anything out of play-doh. Um, I'll leave a recipe for that below. You can make silly songs together. Teach one another some new dance moves. Now that could be a lot of fun. Tell your child three things you really like about them. I think that's important to tell your child every day of the week. You can make necklaces out of colored pasta shapes and dental floss or you know, string of any kind. Make swords out of rolled up newspaper and have a pretend sword fight. And they'll play with those until they actually break them and they're no longer um, 
useful. So that's a lot of fun for them to do. You can make eight paper airplanes and see who flies the farthest. Have something unusual for dinner like air popcorn or fresh fruit. Um, one of our favorite things that we do for dinner around here is fruit salad. It's really simple to make. Uh, you can use fresh cut up fruit or canned fruit and add marshmallows and whipped cream and kids absolutely love that. You could build something out of the trash recycling items if you um, save your recycling. I know the very large containers of uh, oatmeal and your coffee cans, things like that are really fun things to build um, projects with. So we save, I have a habit of saving my coffee cans. Um, create a new voice message together. That's always fun for grandparents to do when your grandkids come. You can make a slideshow of your favorite digital photographs. You could make a bookmarks uh, by using just simple paper and packing tape as a cover. Um, children enjoy making those and just like put some yarn on the end of it. Uh, poke a hole in it and tie some yarn on it. Those are pretty easy to make. Let your child teach you about something they know or do well. Make life size drawings of each other on the back of some old wrapping paper. And if you're like me, I save wrapping paper from every holiday. I usually end up with a whole bunch of it too. And, and I'll also use the old wrapping paper to tape it down the hallway and I'll let the children draw and color or paint. And I actually brought out our old wrapping paper and this paper is very thick. So it's usually a lot thicker than the um, like craft paper that you can buy on the rolls. But they also do sell rolls of packing paper. Uh, fairly cheap at Walmart you can use also for this project. And I love to let the kids finger paint. And when they're done, I'll let them dry. And you see that? I just make some beautiful um, art for my home. And I hang this all around my house and the kids love it when they come they can see their artwork hanging on my walls so I just let them use all different types of colors and I put them in fairly um, inexpensive frames and I hang them all around my home so I think this is a really fun idea especially if you have uh, grandkids or you know what these also make very good Mother's Day and Father's Day gifts or Grandparents' Day gifts, holiday gifts for family members also. So that is something that we do a lot of just because the kids enjoy it and I, I enjoy collecting their art. Another thing you can do with your kids is create memory boxes for your child's favorite pictures, artwork, and uh, mementos. You can create these boxes out of shipping boxes or like if you have shoe boxes in your home, uh, let your child decorate those and they can keep all their favorite things in. You can make popcorn balls or rice crispy treats together. Children love boxes and I am a collector of boxes because I'm always packing stuff or shipping things. We like to build houses and hideouts out of the old boxes and I let the kids, you know, cut out windows and doors and kids just love to play with boxes. You can play hide and seek with inside your home. This is a lot of fun. I usually hide in the bathtub and um, no matter how many times I hide in the bathtub, they still will not go in there to look for me, but it is a lot of fun. You can have a movie night with blankets and popcorn and what we do is we just throw all our blankets on the floor floor, we pile up our pillows, I let the kids pick the movie, I pop popcorn, and we just, you know, kind of lay all over the floor and watch our movies. They, they love doing that. Uh, you could cut photos out of a magazine and glue them to a poster board. I know a lot of you probably don't get magazines anymore. I still get magazines, but uh, it's just because I like to hold and fill something uh, while I'm reading like my books. I have so many books just because I like to read books. Um, but if you don't, you can go online and also print out photos of things that your kids like and glue those to the poster board. And, you know, kids, they like to hang their, their own artwork in their room. That's something they could take home and hang up. 
uh, you can make home movies and these are a lot of fun for me and my grandkids we'll make up like a little skit that they can they can play out and I'll record them or we'll go on a nature walk and we'll collect like uh, different colored rocks I'm a, I'm a bit of a rock hound so I'm fascinated by rocks and, and they really enjoy doing things like that and when you record it you can also uh, let them help you produce that recording you can email that to their parents if they're away from you you know their parents and you're, they're staying with you for the weekend or you can just email it to friends and family and the kids you know they love to read the comments that they receive off their little videos that they make around here uh, you can make mini pizzas with your kids um, I, I noticed that they do have canned pizza dough mix now so that to me I've never used it but I just noticed that they sell it now in the stores so to me that would be rather easy to make with them or you can just use like a French dough um, bread that you buy at your bakery your local bakery in your supermarket you can make art on old white t-shirts they can draw on the shirts with a sharpie or like uh, fabric pins uh, maybe some of the glue paint and we do a lot of the white t-shirt art and we pass these out for like Mother's Day and Father's Day and things like that and the kids enjoy making them even if they make their own that they can wear. Now this is another game that I play quite often with my grandkids and we'll draw pictures out on blank pieces of paper and then we'll have to guess what they drew so you know I, I whisper in their ear and tell them what to draw then they draw it and then else has to guess what they draw so that's a, that's a fun game that we play together you could create an indoor hopscotch or tic-tac-toe or the toss game by simply using masking tape and tape that to your floor and um, that's a lot of fun indoor activities that your kids can make um, for the toss game you could use rice and fill up socks and tie the end of the socks off my dog is sneezing you okay Bonnie <laughs> anyway, you could use rice or beans and you could fill up the socks, tie the end of them off in a knot, and you could use those as your bean bags, you know, to play the toss game. Uh, color on paper plates, bowls, and cups. If you have paper, you know, you're using paper cups, plates, and bowls right now, uh, just give the kids a handful of markers and let them create some artwork on there. Uh, you can make baked potatoes and smother them with any toppings that the kids may like. Baked potato is a nice little uh, foundation for something, you know, tasty. I, it takes about 12 minutes to microwave a baked potato. Um, so that is a lot of fun to do for them too. And we are on the last page. Uh, you could play dress up. Our favorite at the moment is Princess M. Queen. Me and the babe girl play this. And even Hunter plays. He's got his little dangle um, head headband here. He's our prince, okay? I don't know if you can see him. He's got his little dangly um, headband on there. <laughs> and then we'll play, we'll use one for a princess and one for the queen and she'll let me be the queen and I'll let her be the princess and we'll switch around but you know this is something real simple uh, play dress up you know and we play princess and uh, the queen of course hunter like I said he's always our little prince uh, so this is just something that me and the baby girl like to play right now it's a lot of fun and she's you know she's just over a year old so she understands the game but not really um, and it's something easy she can put on her head and take off. You know, she's not weighted down by a bunch of clothes. So, you know, even the little, little ones, you can you can make up games to play with them. Our favorite thing to do also is baking cookies and we decorate them uh, with candies. Uh, we also use colored sugar. I'll put a simple butter cookie recipe in the description below that you can use for doing that. Uh, you could play freeze tag inside your home. You could play red light, green light. Do any of you remember that game from our childhood? <laughs> My grandkids did not know what red light, green light was. So I was wondering what the kids are playing now. Uh, you could always fill the bathtub up with water and play with toys, you know, in the bathtub with them. 
you could add food coloring to the water as well make it as blue as the ocean or you know just whatever color that they want to play with in the tub um, I usually have them just play outside the tub with their toys you know and they enjoy doing that now this next one is something my grandson absolutely loves to do we will pour rice on the floor our beans or something and we'll let him play with his hot wheels and like his little big trucks and loaders and um, this is real easy if you have like an old shower curtain or even just lay out a flat sheet and pour rice and beans on top of that flat sheet it, it just makes it easier for cleanup later and the kids you know they'll play in that for hours you can have a pillow fight which we have a lot of pillow fights around here you can play jumping jacks with your your kids or grandkids and this one is really funny because my grandkids cannot do a jumping jack <laughs> they cannot get the concept of it so I laugh at them consistently when they're trying to do jumping jacks which is kind of mean I guess but it is funny and we also play like the floor is gone and they can only cross uh, uh, the room like if I have a rug down or if I have uh, furniture out uh, we play like the floor is non-existent so you know, kids love to jump and play and if you don't mind kids jumping on your furniture that's a really fun game uh, you can make a cinnamon toast that's real easy to make and the last one is my grandson's favorite thing to do we make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and we'll eat them outside in the yard on a blanket or on the porch or we'll just eat them inside on the living room floor and finally you can always teach your child to sew um, all of my boys know how to sew and it's kind of funny my middle son when he got married bought his wife a nice sewing machine and she had no idea how to work it so uh, he threaded it and he started sewing on it and she called me and she was like mom I had no idea that um, my husband knew how to sew and I was like well yeah I kind of taught them how to sew when they were really small I said, well, and he can cook too. She had no idea that he could cook either. So um, I just thought it was kind of neat. But, you know, your kids take these traits that you you teach them out of, you know, trying to keep them from being bored. And, you know, they take it on into their adult life. And I just thought that was really neat. And it was a really nice compliment to me. I felt really good about that. So, okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And you find all of these things fun and useful to do with your kids you know and just use your imagination it's okay to to laugh with your grandkids and crawl on the floor with them or sit on the floor with them it's always better to get down to eye level with uh, little kids when you have them around so all right i hope everyone is well take care of yourselves and we'll talk to you soon bye bye now